Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, sorry for the weird lighting. I, my ring light was giving me trouble. So you're actually right in front of a mirror, or not a mirror, a window. And so if the lighting looks a little bit weird, it's because I'm in natural light. You're actually on the windowsill right now. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But for today's video, I just posted on Instagram 20 minutes ago. If you guys wanted to see this makeup look on story, if you guys wanted to see what I used to make this makeup look, whether it was on stories or on YouTube, and it's 50-50 right now, so that might be the next video, depending on, at the end of the day, what the poll says. But for today's video, I thought I wanted... I'm always curious about cream products because I feel like that's a very new... Not necessarily new, but it's very up and coming because in the past, in my opinion, in the makeup world, cream products were always like, mm, no. You know what I mean? It was just never a popular, well, like, very talked about, well-liked concept. But now, I feel like with the whole Gen Z makeup, no makeup, makeup look, and dewy, glowy skin, which I'm all about. I love it. I love natural makeup. That's always been my favorite thing to do. Don't get me wrong. I love my smoky eyes, but I'm very black or white. I either love my smoky eyes or I like basically no makeup. Or if I do have makeup on, it's you can't tell it's on my face. That's just how I've always been. I don't like the cakey look. I, I'm just not about it. So, a lot of that is achieved with cream products. Yes, I do have to set it because I do have combination oily skin, but I do like the glow. So, I'm going to show you guys, have a, right in front of me, have a makeup bag full of my current favorite products and some other ones that I just want to mention. This isn't going to be in a particular order just because it's all just thrown in there, but if you guys do like makeup or cream makeup, let me know what, what which ones you like and what kinds, whether it's cream eyeshadow, cream blush, cream bronzer, whatever, and what brand, like what product do you like, because I'm on the hunt for new ones. I am on a no buy this year, not by choice, but you know, whatever, and I'm itching to try new products. So the second that I can, I'm literally saving every single penny, because, and while I'm going through them, I'll tell you which ones I'm, like what I'm saving up for, because I'm itching for new makeup. It has been since January, since I bought new makeup. And even in January, I think it was just like a repurchase. I don't think I have that. I don't think I've tried anything new this year. I'm going nuts. But it's okay. It's okay. I have a huge, I have an absurd makeup collection. I need to use it and I'm happily using it. But I do want to try new makeup. So let me stop rambling. If you guys like this type of video, if you guys like cream products, please give this video a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. That way you guys get notifications whenever I post future videos. And follow me on social media. All of the links are down below. That way you guys can see whenever I do polls or stories or posts. I am going to be way start, I'm gonna start being way more active on there. So yeah, all the links to my social media is in the description box. And again, sorry for the bad lighting or weird lighting. It is natural lighting, so this is what I look like in person. Oh my god, it's highlighted. It's actually a cream highlighter and you're going to see it now. But yeah, let me just stop talking and let's get into the video. Okay, so at the beginning, I see, let me start. Okay, let me actually put this in order, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I organized it. Now the bag is empty. And let's get started. So I'm going to start off with skincare into, like, eyes. So this isn't my skincare routine, but this is what I use after my skincare routine, but before makeup, so in between. So this is probably the secret to this look. So if I do film this look, you guys will see this again, but... I actually think I've mentioned this in a video before, but this is my second um, tub of it. I got this in a blessed box, I want to say, and I actually got two of them because at the time I had two blessed boxes because I think my mom had was subscribed to one and I was subscribed to one, and she said this was too light for her, so I'm going to use it. This is awesome after your sunscreen, after your moisturizer, but before makeup but and before your primer. This, I don't know why, it just makes your makeup melt into your skin and just look, not melt off your face, it just makes it like mesh so beautifully with the skin. I don't even know why, but I use this before primer and after my SPF, my moisturizer in the morning. This is a simple uh, water boost skin quench sleeping cream. So I don't use this at night, I use this, like I said, before makeup, but it's like this gel It's hard for my nose, or I need to get them. I, I can't get them done, but I need to do them. It's like this gel, like jelly consistency, and it just melts beautifully. It makes makeup adhere to your skin so well. 
I don't know what's in this stuff, but it's really good, and I, it's from the drugstore because it's from Simple. I don't know how much it is. Like I said, I got another blessed box, but it's phenomenal. So highly, highly, highly recommend checking this out. It gives you that like do. So I don't have highlighter on my forehead, but I do have this stuff on, and look at that. It just makes your skin look so fresh and lively. I don't even know the word. It just makes it look beautiful. Highly recommend. So, and I'm weird, I like to keep all my products in its original packaging. Just gotta like, keep things looking nice. I don't know. Do you guys do that too? Does anyone know? Am I the only one? Probably. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so next product is the second key to this look, I would say. And that's Vaseline. So I don't, I used to love the little Vaseline lip ones, but they're more expensive and it's, I think, the exact same thing. Don't get me wrong, I love the rosy lips. That has been a tried and true for. 10 years I'm obsessed with that stuff but this is just regular Vaseline it's like a dollar maybe two dollars at the drugstore I use this all over my lips you can actually use this as an eye gloss you can use this as a highlighter I don't know, it's on my, my face right now but I use this mainly on my lips and I use it on my cuticles whenever they're dry which they are right now but I'm just gonna show you so I'm gonna put my I this was my secret in high school like for events at prom at homecoming any photos like on picture day people would be like it's the gloss are you using? What lip gloss are you using? Sometimes it would be the Glossier one, not gonna lie. I came out when I was a senior in high school and that was probably what I used for prom. No, I used that for graduation. I hadn't come out yet at prom. Um, but this is what I use for prom and I remember people asking me like, what lip gloss are you using? Vaseline. <laughs> just, it just makes your lips look so shiny and pretty and like plump, but it's actually really nourishing, so. 20 out of 10 recommend Vaseline. It's really cheap. It's like my, my secret to having like the glowy, dewy, really pretty skin. Vaseline. Okay, going into primer. So I'm gonna finish with my holy grail, but I'm gonna start off with a sample that I have that I really like that I actually use today. Then I'm gonna use like my second holy grail and then my holy holy grail. Okay, so the first one is a sample of the Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So this is a little one. I think I got this. It's like a hundred point perk or something at Sephora. I don't know. But this stuff is sixty dollars for the full size. I mean, granted, a lot of this stuff is expensive, but what? But I'm not gonna lie, it's worth it. It smells like a spa. It just smells like skincare, but it it's really thick, which I didn't expect. Like it doesn't have any give to it. But it just looks so good and it's very um it kind of feels like a gel turned into like a oily cream and it's emollient but not where you're gonna feel greasy if that makes any sense it's just really really nice you, i think they do have a travel size which the travel size is like 20 dollars too so it's kind of expensive but you need the smallest little bit and i yeah i really recommend it it is really really good so if you guys see this for at the four for the 100 point perk if you guys can want to try out the sample size i highly recommend this it's really, really good. If you have oily skin, you still you can still use this. I mean, I do. I just set my face with powder, which not all powders work for me. I am gonna do another video where my favorite powder products. But if you guys have dry skin, excellent. I do recommend that. Or wait, I have a, oh, I have another primer. Okay, so these are basically dupes for one another. Shake them. Okay, so the Cover FX one. This is the Cover FX. Can you guys see? Okay, there we go. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. Okay, that's what it looks like. This stuff is beautiful. This is my third. No, it's dark. Gotta love natural light. Okay, this is the Illuminating Primer. I think this is my third or fourth tube, and I've gone through two or three of the mini ones. I love this stuff. Let me show you what it looks like. So, it's just like a pearly. That's not gonna show you. There we go. It's like a pearly, pinky, champagne kind of color. And it just gives the skin the most beautiful, like, not, it, it, there's no shimmer in it. I don't know what it is. It might be, like, fine mica, but look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I should have used it today, but I used my holy crown today. And a dupe for that, actually, it's from the drugstore. My, one of my best friends got this for me for Christmas, I think, last year. This is the Honest Beauty Everything Primer. You can get this at Target. There we go. So that's it. Excuse my nail. It's gross. 
and I'm gonna put it like on my wrist. This one's a little bit liquidier and more gold, but it's just as pretty. Let's see. See it on my wrist there? It's so pretty. And it's, again, from the drugstore. So I think they started selling this at Walgreens now. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that. But it's definitely cheaper than Cover FX. So this stuff is awesome. And if you don't want to splurge on the Cover FX one, definitely check this one out. But they're very similar. And then my Holy Grail, I have gone through maybe 10 bottles of this, which is kind of sad and scary because if, when I tell you how much this costs, you're going to be like, what? But I've been using this since I was 15, and I swear, not only does it make your makeup look better, but it makes your skin better. I don't know what's in this stuff, but I don't think I'll ever not have this product in my makeup collection. I got this when my family went, and I went to Paris for my 15th birthday, and they gave me a sample of it at the store. And when I got back to Miami, when I got back home, I was like, I need to go now. So I go get this. And I did. And I've never not had it. I have tried the gold one. When you see what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the gold one, not my favorite. It's good, but I don't, it's firming, so I don't really need that right now. But the, it's the oxygen one, like the white cream. It's excellent too, but it's not, it's different. So what I'm talking about is the Guerlain Meteorites base. So there's the Meteorites Oxygen and the Meteorites, or I don't know if it's Meteorites Leor, but the gold one is the one that I'm talking about that is anti-aging that like, lifts the skin. I have that one. I don't really use it that much because I'm not. I'm really tall. <laughs> you know? I don't really need to be lifted. But when I do want like my pores filled a little bit more, I do use that one. That stuff is great. But in the Meteorites Oxygen, I think that's what it's called. That's like the Oxygen Boost I've gone through with two or three of those. Excellent. But that one is more hydrating and not as illuminating. So this one, I swear, I don't know what's in this. I have the meteorites powder, it's to die for. But this stuff, this is like my 10th or 11th bottle. I'm not even kidding. Which, this stuff is $74. So the fact that I've gone through 10 or 11 full bottles of this and paid that much money that many times should tell you. This stuff is so good. Like, this stuff is my baby. <laughs> I never want to be out of this. When I run out of this, I'm I'm literally gonna cry. I think I'll cry when I run out of this and I can't buy it again. I, it makes me emotional. I'm kidding. But it's so, so pretty. I wanna, I would show you, but I don't really the product. I'll, I'll be nice and I'll show you. So I'm gonna use the other hand. Okay, I'm only using like the tiniest bit because I'm not wasting that. Okay, so you see it on the back of my hand? There we go. And then. Chunk of the little part came out. Okay, look at that. Because the thing is, it's it's sticky. It's kind of like a gripping primer too, but it gives you the illumination of this one, but the tackiness that these don't have. I and it smells like violets, which I love. It's very nostalgic to me. It just oh, it sits so beautifully under. Oh, I cannot say enough good things about this. Everyone, I think everyone needs it. And I know it's expensive, but I swear it's also skincare. I don't know what's in it, but I'm telling you it is the best. Uh, the fact that I just used a pump. Oh, it was like $20. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So the next thing, this is like, again, my, I don't even know how many. I've gone through like 20 of these. This is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. If you guys are new to my channel or if you guys have been on my, seen my other videos, I don't think I've had a video where I don't talk about this. So, Awesome, I use it as a primer, a tinted primer. Sometimes I do use it on its own. I am wearing it today. So today I have the Simple Cream, Vaseline. I do have the Vitamin Rich in base, base, base Base, this, and this. So yes, it is a bit excessive, but I am extra. What, are you gonna, what am I gonna do? I am who I am. But this stuff just makes your skin look so pretty. Not only in person, but not only in pictures, but in person. It just makes you look like, I don't know. I don't really have foundation on. I have like some light concealer on, but this is really it. And I do have pimples right now because stress and I've been eating chocolate, which I shouldn't have been eating, but oh well. I'm human. So this stuff just makes your skin look so even. I, I can't, it does not have co coverage. Don't, I'm not saying it has coverage. This is not, if you have like really bad acne, if you have a lot of redness and you want that covered, this is not going to do it, but this will even out your skin tone. It just, if you do have those 
problem skin problems i recommend this as a primer it will it will just make your foundation look so much better it'll, it'll kind of enhance is what i always say this enhances your foundation and i think they just expanded their shade range i'm not too positive on that i'm not too sure so don't quote me on that but i'm like halfway through and i'm kind of freaking out because i don't know why and this just like this will never not be in my collection but this is obviously way cheaper so yeah my favorite foundation surprise surprise the cosmetics cc cream this stuff is bar none my favorite holy grail i'll never not have this again this is spf 50 this is actually a really great sunscreen because other makeup products that have sunscreen in it it's not um a full sunscreen up I can go into it, but I'm not going to. Uh, but this one does have a full sunscreen, so this actually is proper sunscreen. I use this most days. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I just put a pump in my hand, rub it, and I just like slide there all over my face, and I'm done. If I don't have this on, I have the powder on. So it's one or the other. I always have SPF 50 minimum on my face, so excellent. I could talk about this for years. The other one that I love that I actually don't have anymore that I ran out of Is the Chanel Vitalume Aqua. That stuff was my favorite in high school. Like, oh my gosh. I just ran out of it like six months ago. I miss it a lot. I don't think I've ever talked about it on my channel, but I use that stuff like crazy. I think I'm in the shade 20 beige. 20 beige rose. I know I'm in the shade 20. I know I'm in the shade 20. But that stuff is excellent. It's kind of like a hybrid between these two products. Except I think the SPF is like 15. 20 but it's like a hybrid so it's not as sheer as this one as the glossier skin tint but it's not as full coverage as the cc cream it's kind of in between that's so it's beautiful and it gives you like the most dewy it gives you the dewiest like youthful glow oh and i'm dying to try them out i love it i'm so dying i'm dying to try that this winter i think i'm gonna get it save up every penny that is something i'm saving up every stinking penny to try <sighs> my first foundation actually was from chanel by the phrase great prom i have all the products that i got for that i can do a video on that like a nostalgic video but whatever chanel makes some of my favorite foundations besides this chanel by the lumi aqua beautiful and i want to try the mountain one have you guys tried it let me know okay so those are my favorite i don't know why i'm like swinging this around <laughs> Okay, next. In terms of corrector, I want to try the green one of this. I don't know why I bought the orange one, but I, I think I got it for my mom. My mom doesn't wear makeup, so why did I spend this much money on that? I don't know. But this is the Chanel uh, Longwear Color Corrector. This is in the shade Apricot. And this is for under your eyes. I'm not wearing this today, but I do wear this pretty often because I realized she wasn't going to wear it. It looks like this. It's just like a peachy shade. You need the smallest, like, I mean, the smallest under your eyes like literally just pull it out i wipe off product and i just go one two done this stuff is pigmented but it works really well this stuff works really well and i don't know i know some people hate the small chanel makeup i love it i don't know i'm weird i'm a weirdo my favorite concealer this should not be a surprise to anyone this just like this is a staple on my channel and just in my life this is um, I don't even know how many I've got. This is a Glossier, and I'm almost out. And this is the only concealer that I use. So I don't know what I'm going to do, because, again, no buy. I am literally cringing at the thought of having, like, of not having this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. This is a Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade Medium. It is so pretty. It just, I swear this stuff is, I think this has pretty good coverage. Some people dis disagree with me. I think this stuff covers in my bags better than Tarte Shape Tape. Like, I don't like Tarte Shape Tape. I love Tarte products, but I don't like Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like it's very drying, and it's not that full coverage, in my opinion. Maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know. But this stuff, excellent. And it, if you have a, a pimple or, like, some sort of blemish, this stuff melts on it and just makes it look like it's not there. I swear. It's so um, oh, I love this stuff. Like, I can rave about this for days. Like I said, all these are my favorite products, so I can't talk about them, and I rave about them, and I'm very passionate about makeup. Hence why I have a YouTube channel dedicated to makeup and skincare. And just beauty. Anything beauty, I love it. I love it. Okay, next. I think I'm going to go in with cream bronzer. Okay, so my favorite cream bronzer, surprise, surprise. Well, 
I have a couple of them, but the one that's my current favorite is Chanel Soleil 10 Day Chanel. This stuff I had been dreaming about since I was a little girl. Finally bit the bullet maybe like last year. And I use this stuff pretty frequently. You literally can't tell. <laughs> this stuff lasts so long. Oh, I love this smell. It smells like violet roses. I don't know. I love this stuff. I have it on today. It is kind of warm. And unfortunately, this is the only shade. So a trick is if you guys don't want to invest in this because this is $50. But again, over a year, you can't even tell you tonight. I use it basically every day. So this stuff does last. It actually is worth the money. But if this is too dark for you, if this is too light for you, just get a cream foundation. Or, yeah, if you get like a cream foundation, the ones that are like in the compact, or even if you want a liquid foundation, like, I'm gonna use this or even this. Get the glossy skin tint with darker shade. I actually do that with the powder, which you guys have seen in my powder video, but get the get a darker one. There you go. You have a cream contour or powder contour. And it looks beautiful and it can add coverage if you have like acne spots. I have really bad rosacea on my on my cheeks. So it actually when I do, do that trick, it does give me a little bit more coverage. So that's a hack for you guys. So love this stuff. It is oh, it's so pretty. I'm a big Chanel makeup fan and my bank account hates it, but I love it, so. <laughs> okay, cream blush. I have two cream blushes here. The first one, like I said, I keep everything in its original packaging. I'm a weirdo, I know. This is the Ilia Love Me Do gift set. I'm obsessed with these. This packaging is so pretty. I love Ilia. I've been obsessed with Ilia since I actually went to Paris to just like the girl on. I bought it in Paris, and that was the, I got the Nobody's Baby Lip balm or lip tinted lip balm something like that and I went through four of those in high school like that was all I used during the day like in school I'd be like this with that oh I need to go buy I can't go buy another one I need another one <sighs> that's, I mean, that's on my list but this stuff this is the Ilia multi stick and the shade ladybird this stuff is the such a beautiful cream um blush how do I apply it I apply it with okay so these two brushes are dirty because I did just do my makeup but so forgive me. But I'll either use one of these two. So I'll, they're both by BH Cosmetics. This one's from the Marble Collection, and this one is from the Rosé in the Air, I think is what it's called. This is a just dual fiber brush. This is actually what I use for my Chanel bronzer, the cream bronzer. But what I'll do is I'll rub this on the back of my hand, or just, this is my own, it's not in my kit. It's, the only person this goes on is me, so it's not that big of a deal. And I do sanitize my products very frequently, my brushes and my makeup. I do sanitize my makeup very frequently. If you guys want to see a video on how I do that, let me know. But I'll either go on the back of my hand, like so, and this stuff can be good. So you can use this on your eyes and on your lips. So you can just do like I don't know, just give you like a really pretty tint. Or if you want with your eyes, you can just grab a fluffy brush and just grab some on the back of your hand and then just put that on your eye. Beautiful for a monochromatic, that is very Gen Z too. Just do a full monochromatic look with just this one product. Ooh, that's a really good lips. Or if you and if you wanna if you don't wanna go directly on the brush, you can just put it on the back of your hand and just should not have this is my bronze brush. Just use like any kind of dual fiber or synthetic brush. Just go on the back of your hand, pick some of the product up, and then just go directly onto the cheeks. I already have a lot of blush on, so it's so pretty. Might have too much blush on, but it's a-okay with me. So that's that. And I actually do love the lipstick that's in there, so that'll be coming up soon. The other cream blush that I love, I have, I think, all but one. Right in this one. Okay, this one. I think the other one I don't have is, like, Pop or It's, like, the bright pink one. I have all the other ones. So I have Dusk, I have Beam, and I have Cakes. I'm missing, I think, one. I don't remember. These are the Glossier. Glossier is my favorite. Probably Chanel, Tom Ford, and Glossier. I think those are my favorite makeup brands. And maybe two things. But for sure, Chanel, Tom Ford, Glossier, Bar None, ba oh, and Nude Sticks. I love Nude Sticks. I love makeup. But this is, I have all of these, and these last so long. Like, not on the face, not only on the face, because they do last a long time. But I mean, you need so little of this. This is like, it's probably expired. I don't care. This is like two or three years. And it's still full. That's amazing. <laughs> this is what I had on before I put on the Ilia. Front or blush, but this is the Glossier Cloud Paint. It's a seamless cheek color. I can attest that that is excellent. I put some on the back of my hand. 
and then you need like that much for your entire face and that's probably too much so you just grab like that i'm gonna use the same brush i used with the ilia one just dot it on your face i'm not gonna add any more but it looks so pretty and see i can just blend it natural line doesn't like me right now but whatever it it just makes it like a seamless beautiful flush oh i love it okay cream highlighter my second favorite uh, this is like my 10th maybe not 10th yeah okay because this stuff does last a long time i've been using this since it came out this is the glossier holoscope i think it's called no yeah halo scope uh, dual effect highlighter i have this my favorite in the shade quartz i have had moonstone i don't know what it's called and i forgot to do topaz I don't think I've ever tried Topaz. I would like to try it though. It's like a bronzy glow. That would be so pretty. But I think that one's Moonstone. I think I've had that one. For sure, this one I've had several of. I've been using this since high school. I put it under makeup, on top of makeup, or as normal highlighter, like with a brush. And when I start my makeup, I'll go like this. Like after primer, before foundation, I'll just like layer a ton of it on. Beautiful. <laughs> Love this stuff. Okay. Next, I'm going to say my Holy Girls for last, but I'm going to go sheer to most pigmented. So my sheerest one, I, I also wanted to mention the Maybelline color tattoos. I don't have any of those right now, but those were my favorite back in the day. I think they just reformulated them and I really want to try the new ones, but I don't have any of those. So for what I do have, this is the sheerest, I still have, this is the Glossier Lid Star in the shade Cub. It's such a cute name. These are so pretty and just like a beautiful just wash of color. I do want to try their sky paints too. I've heard those are so good. It's like a matte wash of color instead of like a metallic one. This is built up a lot, but you can wash this. Like if you blend it, it does become like a sheer, sheer, sheen, sheer wash of color, like a sheen. It still looks really pigmented, but I promise it just, it just looks very kind of ethereal, very glowy, very, it just looks, oh, it's so pretty. Perfect for like the Gen Z makeup look. I do want another shade of hand, like the olive shade of hand. I don't know what it's called, but it's like the olive one. I want to try that one. So I'm like a sucker for olive eyeshadows. Okay, my next favorite, these are these are the nude sticks magnetic luminous eye color and magnetic eye color. So this is the magnetic luminous eye color. I have it in the shade Rus Rustic Rustique. Come on, look at that. And these are transfer proof, budge proof. These are great. If especially if you with my last product, if you don't want to invest in that, because that is an investment. These are great. These aren't the cheapest, but they're Worth every penny. They last so long. They're waterproof, budge proof. They are really, really great. So that's rustic, rustic. Then the magnetic eye color in the shade Gilt. I have more of them. These are just the two that I grabbed. I think my other favorite is Queen Helen. Queen Helen is all green. It's an olive shade. I love olive eyeshadow. I don't know why. I just, I love it. Oh, I love it. So Gilt is kind of like a champagne rose gold. Look at that. Come on. In the inner corner, let me just do that now. That looks bad. I'm sorry. I, just, I can't see. Well, I can see, but it's my viewfinder is very small. And I love that these are kind of like foolproof because you just it's a crayon. You just put it on and blend a little bit, and you're good to go. And like I said, they don't budge. Okay. Last but not least, I feel even guilty talking about these. Let me actually get my other ones. Okay. So I have this on today. I've worn this since my senior year. I wore this to prom. I bought it the day of prom, which was a dumb move, but it's a dumb move, but thankfully it worked out. And I just tried it out, and luckily it worked, and now I'm addicted. So what I'm talking about is the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color. When I tell you this is the best investment, like this and this, are probably my, like, I will never not have these. I have the one, my original, the one that I wore to prom. Where is it? It's this one. It's in the shade Naked Bronze. It's three years later. And it is, I am taught, I use this at least three times a week. I still haven't hit the bottom because you need to touch it and that's it. And I'm telling you, it's sweat proof, waterproof, budge proof, crease proof, rub, transfer proof. Like you can rub your eye. It's not going anywhere. This can last like 15 hours. Yes, I have worn my makeup that long because I've had long days. But it looks, I'm, I kind of think it looks better at the, when you're done with, like, at the end of the day than when you put it on. It's that good. I swear. And it does not let oils go through. You can use it as a base. You can use it as a 
alone. I use it alone. Drive on today. I have like the smallest bit. Like I grabbed my eyeshadow brush. I went once and that did both eyes. I have the shade Reflection on today. I have every shade but Golden Peach. I swear that's what I, I think I want that in my school. I'm not even kidding. Like, I want that so badly, but they're $65. So I'm saving up every penny for the Chanel foundation. My holy grail Chanel mascara, the falling day Chanel mascara. That is the best mascara on the planet. I like the water. I don't like the regular one. I like the waterproof one. It's not that waterproof, but it is so good. I've gotten all my friends like took it. It is the most beautiful, like fluttery but voluminous. Oh, I love it so much. This, the golden peach one. Those are the three. Maybe there's like one more thing, but there might be like a couple of other products. But if you guys want to see like a video of my wish list of makeup, let me know. I'm ha I'll happily make that. But the other one, I'm, the only one I'm missing is golden peach. I'm, oh my god, I love that so bad. I'm like dying for it. This is the one I want today. It's in the shade Reflection. This is the most, if you're a bride, I'm telling, I know it's, I know it's an investment, but you can use this every day, but on your wedding day, that is the one day you don't want your makeup to budge. You want, you don't want to think, you know what I mean? You just don't, you just want to have fun, get married, love life, you know? Not think about your makeup. This stuff is an essential if you're a bride. Like, no exaggeration, I'm not kidding, I know it's an investment, but it is well, 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 well worth it. This shade in particular, like I said, I haven't tried Golden Peach. That might be another bridal one. But if you want like a peachy golden look, Reflection is great. The other one, I have Young Adonis, which was actually the one that I wore. No, I got Naked Bronze for graduation. I got Young Adonis for prom. This is like a pewter platinum, but like rose goldy, champagne-y. I, I don't know. I've never seen a color like this. It is the most... Stunning, like beautiful product. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it's like butter. Do you see that? And then what's so cool about these is that these have so I don't know what the cream like the regular cream shadows that don't have the powder on top. I've never tried one of those. I would like to, but these have the like the top coat. So if I'm not mistaken, Tom Ford made the these glitter toppers after his uh, like sequin overlays for his couture gowns and I can tell you that that he did a good job like mission accomplished because these are beautiful so if they're not pigmented you guys see that it's not pigmented but it just looks so pretty and it just adds the most beautiful like sheen look at that oh, I love it and then the other one I have I don't know but I'm obsessed with this is in the shade Fleur Na Nage, Nage, Nage. I don't know, but I know I use this on New Year's. This is like a smoky taupe. It kind of looks like Young Adonis, but not really. Like when I show them next to each other, they don't look alike. Well, maybe. So this is Fleur Nage, and this is Young Adonis. So this one's a lot gray, charcoal-ish, and this is more like a pewter. But they are so flipping pretty. Like, oh my gosh. So the Young Adonis one has like a silvery top coat. I showed you, no, that's Fleur Nage. Fleur Nage has a silvery top coat. Young Adonis has like a rose gold champagne top coat. Look at that. So pretty. And then, what is this one? Reflection, the one that I have on right now has a dark brown glitter top coat and these aren't like it's pigmented but it's not it is more pigmented than you would think from a top coat but it is beautiful and then what is this naked bronze naked bronze I show you what it looks like so naked bronze what's this one stunning naked bronze I think has a gold yeah has a gold like look at that it's so pretty the gold one, like I said, these are kind of old, but they're not, they're still not dried out because I still use these pretty frequently. So that's the gold top coat. So pretty. And then lip products, most lip products are clean, so I can do like my favorite lip product video. Oh, I have one in front of me. This is the Ilia, like I said, I have, this is what I used in high school. 
That's what it's called. So it's a tinted lip conditioner. And I had the one Nobody's Baby. This one's in the shade Arabian Nights. It is so pretty. It's like the perfect fall winter color. I'll just tap. Oh, that was too much. Okay. So those I love. Nobody's baby is like an everyday natural nude, pinky nude, peachy nude. It is so pretty and they do condition the lips really well. And it is a clean brand, so I do really recommend those. Okay. So those are my favorite cream products. I passionately love every single one of these. If you guys want to see like my wish list, like my high-end and drugstore makeup wish lists, let me know. Um, if you guys want to see the powder makeup video, like my favorite powder products, let me know. I'll happily do that. And do you guys want to see this makeup look? Because I can film that with the additional, but at the beginning, if you guys want to see that too. Um, do you guys like any of these products? Have you guys tried any of these products? What products should I add? Like, try, should I try? Let me know. I love talking to you guys. It's my favorite thing to do. So, yeah. If you guys like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up to comment down below what future videos, videos you guys want to see. Subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. That way you guys get notifications whenever I post future videos. And you can join the fam. And share this video with your friends and family and loved ones and whoever loves makeup and beauty and just, yeah. Oh, and follow me on social media. All the links are down below. I'm going to be way more active on Instagram and mainly Instagram um, because, I don't know, I want to connect with you guys more. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, for watching and staying till the end if you guys are watching this. And, yeah, thank you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye.